Okay, so my talk is basically just about a project I've been doing on um, Facebook uh, and the reactions to them. So initially, I was intending more or less just to look at how this might differ across different media pages. So for example, if they're right wing or left wing, uh, or also I looked at a few media pages from uh, France, a few from Germany, some from the US and some from the UK. Um, but then, uh, as I was doing this, uh, I started thinking more about emoji and uh, about sentiment analysis using emoji. Um, so emoticons uh, obviously predate emoji um, and actually directly imply sort of emotion and therefore sentiment, whereas emoji is just a loan word from Japan, but quite a lot of them do fairly clearly uh, indicate emotions. Um, so they can be positive emotions, uh, negative, and then there are ones which are more neutral, uh, unless, unless, sorry, unless anyone uh, feels nostalgic for floppy disks. Um, a potential issue with doing this is uh, that different uh, companies draw emoji differently, um, and even this can, and these even change over time. So um, this is just uh, the emoji chart from Unicode. Um, and you can see different versions of some of them. Some of the uh, more obvious differences are like the dancer one there. So I think that's the Samsung has a male dancer in the third, third position, whereas Android's just a blob, and iOS is a flamenco dancer, it looks like, the Grimace. And just even a simple one, like the grinning face with smiling eyes, has quite a bit of variety. And this can actually affect how people uh, perceive uh, the emotion. Um, so, uh, um, so that's the Apple emoji for the grinning face with smiling eyes. Uh, someone actually asked about 35 people if they thought it was a positive or negative emotion that we were trying to express, and most of them said it was negative, which is a little bit surprising and uh, is quite different to how the majority of the grinning face emojis with smiling eyes are perceived. Um, uh, so uh, I don't know if you can see that, um, but here's an example of how miscommunication could occur. Uh, so uh, someone saying, I just went on that date and grinning, uh, but the other person with another system either says, I just went on that date and a bit of a grimace. Um, and also, they changed over time. So I think this happened earlier this year, that Apple decided to change their gun emoji into a water pistol. I think Microsoft used to have a sort of ray gun thing and recently changed it to a, a pistol. Um, so the main thing that inspired me was this paper I'd seen, uh, published last year on PLOS One um, by Novak et al, uh, where they attempted to give uh, scores to sentiment scores to emoji are based on Twitter data. So they collected about 1.6 million tweets. Um, about 4% of them contained emoji. They, uh, uh, it was across 13 European languages. Um, uh, and yeah, so basically they just scored them by saying positive, negative, or neutral, um, plus one, minus one, or zero. Um, uh, and they had a cutoff, so they only gave scores to emoji which had been used five times, at least five times within their, within their sample. Um, so only 751 emoji were used that often. Um, they used a Laplace estimate of the probability distribution um, rather than just the, the relative frequencies. Um, and ended up with emoji ranked between minus 0.6 and 0.9 on the scale from minus 1 to 1. So it seems a bit skewed positive already. Um, so the most positive emoji, I'm not sure if anyone here would guess, uh, it was Japanese, Japanese dolls. And the most negative emoji is one I've never used and I don't think I've ever seen. That's a fish cake with a swirl, apparently. Um, OK, um, so, so what I did was I collected some data from some Facebook posts. I downloaded 21,000, about 1,000 from each of 21 media 
media sources, so like in America, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, um, a few others, um, and uh, looked at some of the reactions data to start with. So these are what the reaction icons look like. So obviously, they look quite similar to emojis, some of them. Um, and so yeah, I could probably. And yeah, obviously, like is the default reaction on Facebook, um, and by far the most common. Um, I also collected comments, uh, so about 8 million comments, uh, which isn't all of them from those posts, but I thought it was enough. About half a million of the ones I collected contained emoji, um, which is a slightly higher rate than the, the tweets that uh, that um, thing was looking at. So this is just the, the, the proportions of the emoji on the pie chart. Um, and just if you remove the likes, then you can see that the uh, angries and loves are about, about level. Um, and wows are least, least, least common um, with uh, angry and sad. Uh, is it angry and sad? No, sorry. Uh, the other two, about, about the same. Um, so there were some differences between uh, the sort of the proportions in um, different countries. So uh, angry was the, the most, the place which had the most angry reactions was France where there were 9%, um, and least was UK with 3%. Love was highest in the US and lowest in Germany. And haha -ha was highest in Germany and lowest in the UK. Um, but uh, there wasn't much difference in the, the numbers for sads or, or the wows. Um, so this is you know, it's probably a bit predictable, just counting, uh, counting things. Um, the US is uh, most active, and quite a lot of this is down to Fox News, which is, was by far, had by far the most reactions on their Facebook page, um, followed by the CNN and BBC fairly closely. But that pretty much explains the US you know, being way over to the right, and also that the right-wing media, media pages were a bit more active. Um, I did some clustering on the, uh, just on the reactions to see if there were any groups, and uh, the gap statistics suggested four clusters, which uh, give proportions like this. So there's a sort of fairly bland first group, which is pretty much just likes and not much of anything else. Um, there's some which some people find, uh, which makes some people angry, but some people seem to find funny. Um, there's an angry group, and there's a sad group. Uh, hang on, let's just check. I didn't miss anything too much. Um, so uh, the differences are, are significant between those, those groups. Um, so from the uh, half a million comments that contained emoji to save time and get the slides ready for this, for today, uh, we, uh, I just uh, sampled 100,000 of the comments, and uh, this is just uh, chart showing the frequencies of the emoji. Um, so Zip's law, which was mentioned at least once yesterday, is about uh, word frequencies in natural language. Um, and so it's a type of power law where the most common word tends to be used twice as often as the second most common word and three times as often as the third most common word. So it doesn't appear, appear that that applies to these emoji. Well, it does look a bit like a, a part of a power law. Um, this uh, is data from Emoji Tracker. Um, and that top left emoji, I'm not sure if it's clear, that's the uh, sort of crying with laughter emoji, which is used about 1.4 billion times in the data that they've been tracking, uh, way more than the next most used one, which is about 650 million. Um, but these are quite different to, uh, to what was in my sample or from Facebook, uh, from, from Facebook media pages. Um, uh, so there are some differences between the emojis used in different countries. So France, you might remember, was the angriest country. And the angry face is the third most common emoji here. Um, Germany seems to like the, the see no evil monkey uh, face. And the US has the, uh, the flag as their fourth most common one, which, again, might, might not be that surprising. I don't, don't know. Um, uh, I don't have anything interesting to say about the UK, really. Uh, um, and the distribution. So you've got angriness not just on the right, but on the right and the left. Um, and again, the, the, the left, the left-wing media pages had sort of lots of American flag emojis, which I would have expected to turn up on the right as well, but uh, not in the top five. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so this is uh, remembering the clusters. Uh, so obviously, in the angry cluster, the angry face is most common. In the sad cluster, it's things like broken heart and crying faces. So it's not really anything unexpected. Um, OK. So we calculated the sentiment score for the clusters. Um, but if someone's like repeated a, an emoji multiple times, we didn't just add its score multiple times, but uh, reduced the effect of the, the repetition. Um, and then we averaged the scores across each comment for each post. Um, and that gives us sentiment scores. So the lowest sentiment scores are for the angry and the sad, which is what you'd expect, although they are still both positive, um, which is maybe a little surprising. Um, and the highest, the highest sentiment score was for posts which were in the sort of bland sort of group, which was dominated by the like reaction. Um, so this sort of raises some questions. Um, and it's possible that positive emoji um, don't just relate to positive emotion, but are used more generally. Um, so to soften criticism or show support or something rather than uh, an actual expression of happiness or, or anything like that. Um, and negative emoji, they do tend to reflect the, or indicate the, the sentiment of the, of the entire piece of text, whereas positive emoji could be more, have more localized effects. Um, OK. Um, and again, the, so the, the boring group, the profile one, wasn't even that much higher than profile three and four. Um, and this might be partly explained by the sentiment scoring in the PLOS One paper, which uh, used text containing emoji and ranked that sort of together. Um, so you possibly might get different scores to the emoji if you just ranked or asked people to rank what they thought the sentiment of an emoji was in isolation. Um, OK, so um, I'm pretty much there. I'm just sort of summarizing now. Um, uh, so we studied Facebook reactions in various media pages. Um, obviously, like was the most, most, uh, most common. Um, there were about four clusters um, in uh, the patterns of reactions. Um, and people are more likely to share. I don't think I mentioned this. I know the original topic was going to be more about sharing, but that sort of drifted. Sort of, yeah, I sort of I didn't really concentrate on that uh, overall. Um, so the most frequently used emoji uh, in comments are they're different to sort of the general ones from the tweet on emoji tracker. Um, and they don't seem to follow Zip's law for natural language. Um, so there's a possible thing. It might be that people actually consider or, or use emoji as if they're words. So for example, in 2015, the Oxford Dictionary's word of the year was the, uh, that most common emoji on emoji tracker, the uh, laughing with uh, tears coming out of your eyes. Um, and so obviously, this would be just a, a subset now of what people consider or use as natural language. Um, so it wouldn't be that the most common one was you know, uh, you know, twice as common as the second most common and three times as common as the third and so on. Um, and they're also different in the reaction profiles. Um, yeah, and so the plus one paper it seems like a good start, but I think there's possibly some uh, refinement that could be done to the process that they, they carried out. And that's, that's about it, I think.